what's going on everybody we are back for yet another staff list for demon slayer season three now we haven't done one of these in a pretty fair amount of time because demon slayer hasn't really been using their heavy hitters and to put it in a nice way demon slayer season three hasn't really been interesting However, that is going to change with this episode coming out this Sunday, as the staff list is absolutely fire with some of the best people that Ufotable has. So we'll definitely get into the staff list. And if you guys like my content, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe and ring that notification bell so you can get caught up whenever I post. And let's waste no time. We'll get right into the staff list. Starting out with the storyboarder, who's essentially the guy who makes the blueprints for how the episode's gonna go, we have Toshi Kishirai. This is the man who storyboarded season 2 episode 10, which is the best looking episode of Demon Slayer. He storyboarded season 2 episode 10 as well, parts of Mugen Train, and season 1 episode 19. His storyboards are incredibly tense, his shots are up close and personal, and offer some really good and unique perspectives. While you've had some pretty bland shots in the most recent episode of Demon Slayer, that won't happen that much with this episode as Shirai is storyboarding it. We also have Nezomu Abe as a key animator. Nezomu Abe is who I consider in the top 5 of animators in the industry currently. He is without a doubt the best effects animator in the industry as well. I actually just recently did this Sun Halo Dragon scene in Demon Slayer Slayer season 3. He's done some of the best stuff in Demon Slayer and he definitely won't disappoint as he's going to be on this next one as well. It's just an absurd quantity of effects that he animates, really strong drawings and really cool looking smears, and his build up and release timing is just so glorious to see. Our next two are Masuki Kunihiro who is one of Ufotable's best action directors and Kazuhiro Miwa who's done some pretty big moments on Demon Slayer as well. I actually went on a breakdown on both of these animators a lot earlier, but I can talk about them again. Masuki Kunihiro has some really good post-to-pose -pose work in his anime. You can really see it in all of his scenes as he changes speeds to really bring that build up and release. As I mentioned in my previous video on the subject, this scene with Uzui as he swipes away blood blades, he strikes away some very very quickly, but does a really really strong pose to strike away the last one. Kazuhiro Miwa is also really really good, has really really dynamic scenes in Demon Slayer as we've seen. A lot of the Zenitsu scene in season 2 episode 10 is a great indicator of that, as well as this scene which is one of my favorite scenes in the Mugen Train movie, it looks so beautiful. We aren't done here, again we have a lot of the heavy hitters. We next have Mitsuru Obanai who has done some really good scenes in Demon Slayer as well. He did this stunning swordplay Sakuga scene in season 2 which is honestly one of my favorites and also helped with the Rengoku vs Akaza fight. So I definitely can't wait for him to show out as well. And our final god tier animator we have Makoto Nakamura, who not only did this really good scene of Demon Slayer Season 2 Episode 7, but also showcased the first time Rengoku used flame breathing in this stunning performance. I did give a fair amount of brief breakdowns for a lot of these animators, but I will break down fully what they're capable of when the episode drops or else I'll definitely sound like a broken record. That being said, Demon Slayer is definitely releasing a lot of the heavy hitters, which I'm definitely happy for since, once again, I have been pretty underwhelmed with Season 3, and I definitely can't wait to see what this season has to offer in the later stages. With that being said, yeah, this is a brief video. Let me know what you guys think about the upcoming staff for Demon Slayer Season 3. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and have a fantastic day. I'm Debunked by Aaron, signing out.